So I think I have found the smallest wire connector on the market. I've been aware of these new wire connectors coming out by Waga, but this is the first time I'm actually using them in a project like the one behind me. We're installing some canless LED recess lights and in the junction box, these push-in connectors came standard, but overall I am impressed on how much they really were able to shrink down the envelope of these connectors. But to give you a better feel, I'll zoom in here and do a little side-by-side -side comparison with other commonly available wire connectors. So the connector we're talking about is made by a company called Wago and it is a 2273 push-in connector. It is tiny. It's about a quarter of an inch high, half inch wide, and then depth is about five eighths of an inch. I can't imagine you getting a wire connector much smaller than that can actually do the job. For me, I don't love push-in connectors, especially for high load applications, but for something like this where it's an LED recess light, low load, I think it works well. Also should be noted that 2273 is only for solid core wire. That's why even though the wire for this light, like expected, is stranded, they actually soldered the end or tinned the end of the wire so it was one piece. It had a shell of solder around the stranded. So that makes it a quote unquote solid wire so it can be used with this connector. But I think comparing them side by side gives you a better feel on the overall side. So here is the 2273 versus a standard wire nut that would be compatible with the same amount of three wires. Looking at the end view, you can see how much of a difference that is. So it is much, much smaller than a wire nut. So if you also have an application where things are a little tight and you got a lot in the box, that's where these could shine. Now, if you guys use push-in connectors, you go to Lowe's, you grab some, most likely you're using an ideal push-in connector like this one. So a side-by-side -side with the ideal, you can see it's quite a bit shorter. The thickness is dramatic. So all around, it's quite a bit smaller than even the ideal push-in, which is a pretty compact connector. Now my go-to for the last year have been Wago lever nuts. This is their older design called a 222. Then they improved the design in two major ways. They made it more compact and then also a transparent housing so you can ensure your conductors are fully seated and connected to what's called the bus bar. But even for this lever nut, you can see in terms of size advantages, the 2273, this push-in connector, is quite a bit better. Now, I trust the Wago 221 across pretty much all applications, so no doubt I'll still be going with the 221. This is the one I carry with me all the time, and if you wanna try these out, you can get an assortment pack of a two pin, three pin like this one, and then a five pin, for a pretty reasonable price, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in those. You can easily get them off Amazon. But at least for something like an LED light install, I trust Wago, and I would trust that they make a product that can hold up to that kind of current draw. But let me know what you guys think. Have you guys actually used these 2273 and what has been your experience with them? Or is this the first time you're seeing them? Do you wanna go deeper into the internals of connectors like this? I did a wire nut comparison, ideal push-in comparison, and then that Wago 221 comparison in this video right here, where I actually opened those up and showed you some of the internals, if that's something you wanna dive deeper into. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.